That's weird that it keeps like doing it like that. There we go. All right. Well, I do have those. And it's weird that I put them in my the right hand probably because I'm right-handed, so um, yeah, I, we still have to kind of go around and we got to talk to all these people and learn about how to do this kind of stuff, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I'll do that later. We're just going after the main quest here, so let's just head on out. And as soon as I get to a point where I can't continue on the main quest, like I have to do some side mission or something like that, then I will wrap up the stream for this so I can play it on my own. Um, and I'll, I'll stream some, we'll stream something else, depending on what time it is at that point. So we'll go back in. So we just came out and then we're going back in. Does it trouble you? Yes. Uh, where does it come from? I want it gone. Not anymore. It didn't close the breach. If it wasn't enough to close the breach, what use is it? You did everything we asked of you. And it still didn't work. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. Uh, that sounds dangerous. Sounds like fun. You have an idea? Clearly, you have something in mind. We do. May I present Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. Hi. Such as they are, we lost many soldiers in the valley, and I fear many more before this is through. That's unfortunate. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. I've heard much. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yes. Tactfully put, Cassandra. Pleased to meet you all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. That was quick. They still think I did it. That didn't take long. Shouldn't they be busy arguing over who's going to become divine? Some are calling you the Herald of Andraste. And that frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy. And we, heretics, for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. Just how am I the Herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the Temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading. Which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? I'm not sure how I should feel. <laughs> the Chantry has decided that for you, it seems. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that's gone wrong. They aren't more concerned about the breach, the real threat. They do know it's a threat. They just don't think we can stop it. The Chantry is telling everyone you'll make it worse. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. 
She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Okay. Her assistance could be invaluable. I'll see what she has to say. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. I like how they're calling me the Herald as well. So this has to do with like the operations of the like this war table thing where you can this reminds me a lot of um uh Assassin's Creed Brotherhood where you could send your assassins on missions. Uh, yes, thank you. And I haven't messed around with it too much, only a very, very tiny bit. So, um obviously we'll only be doing the uh the first scouting of the Winterlands. Of the hinterlands, I mean. And since I can't do any of the other ones, we will be sending Giselle. I mean, I'm sorry, not Giselle, but... Shoot, I can't even think of her name right now. But we're sending her or her group on this. She's the one we need to go save. Alright, so we avoided the fighting as best we could. It's every bit as bad as we'd feared. The apostates are mad, attacking anything that moves, and it appears that the Templars here aren't looking aren't following anyone's orders any longer. We located Mother Giselle and are trying to protect her, but she refuses to leave your, the refugees until we've ensured their safety. That will be hard to do without troops to push the apostates and the Templars out of the area. Commander Colin asked me to make inquiries inquiries of Master Dennett, a retired horse master of Redcliffe who lives in the area. We tried to contact him about obtaining better horses for the Inquisition, but we've been unable to get through unable to get through the fighting. Lead Scout Harding. Would you like to gather your party and venture forth to the hinterlands? Yes. Alright, so we are going to take uh, I guess we just take all three of them, right? So there we go. But I'm going to take him, him, and him. Confirmed. No one else to take. Elf fruit and Emberium grow in open fields and wooded areas near trees. Rebel mages. Wow. There's a lot to read during a thing. The first Inquisition, the birth of the Chantry, took place more than nine ages ago. The mists of time have obscured once well-known facts. It is, un it is commonly believed the Chantry alone created the Templars in the Circle of Magi. Nobody's on Twitch tonight because everybody went to go see uh, The Hobbit. <laughs> of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. Thanks. It's an honor to meet you, my lady. Inquisition Scout Harding, at your service. I, well, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. <laughs> Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's high town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. You've heard stories about me. Pleased to meet you. What's the word out here? I'm starting to worry about these stories that everyone's heard. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. They only say you're the last great hope for Thetis. Oh. oh. 
Wonderful. The hinterlands are as good a place as any to start Whoa. fixing things. That was crazy. We came to secure horses from Red Cliff's old horse master. I grew up here, and people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest. I ain't afraid of, of you. Well, thank you for but following me. I appreciate that. Getting worse. We couldn't get to Dennett. To Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war's spread there, too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. Okay. I kind of like her. She seems she seems nice and sweet. Can I attack? Whoa! Oh, that's to change the party. Inspect requisition. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. It's like a little... Uh, oh, that that is fun. It's like a little camp. So here's our people. Doing things. How's it going? Hey, y'all. What up? Alright. Oh. You joined the Inquisition when Seeker Pentagast questioned you. Oh, she was very insistent that I help. Interesting. What's interesting? It's surprising that an elven apostate is the one who joined the Inquisition voluntarily. Alright, so let's just take real quick a uh, stock of our inventory here. Let's see if there's a weapon. No, she's got that equipped, right? Yes, okay. And that is not as strong as her Morning Star. I kind of want to... Whoa. Can she use that? Oh... Oh, she's not... Yeah, okay. I wonder if he can use... No. Nope, okay. Armor? What do we got? A mercenary coat? What's he got on right now? Anything? Oh, he's got a scout coat on. Okay. Fire resistance cowl no one can use. I've got that... What's he got? He's got an apprentice coat, but he can't use the mercenary coat. All right. Weapon schematics. Armor schematics. And crafting materials. Wish there was like a read-all. All right. Well then, let's look at the armor again real quick. We don't need this, so we can move that to valuables, and we can move that to valuables. <laughs> weapons we'll get rid of the hunting longbow because we've got the soldier's nemesis all right one second i'm getting a phone call Okay, sorry about that. I got a phone call from my wife, because they just got finished watching The Hobbit, and I was like, wow, I was surprised, because I wasn't expecting you until later. Uh, is it worth buying? Uh, um, uh, I, he's thinking about buying it tomorrow, or she, I don't know, It's there. It, this is I Ain't Afraid of You, uh, but they can't decide, and I get my money tomorrow. Nice. Um... I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh, I was I was actually given this uh, as a gift, and so I didn't put any money into it. Do I think that if I do I think that if I spent sixty dollars on it, um, that I'd get sixty hours worth of play out of it? It's very possible. And so over here at Dollarwise Gamers, we always look for that dollar per hour uh, for entertainment value. Um, and I think that I would get. The sixty dollars. I just wanted to see how well that thing hit. Um, but I, do, I honestly, if you see a good.